if you're ever browsing YouTube and you want to see a video that you've uh, already seen, but you want to save it for later, there's a Watch Later tab. You can just click on here, and it'll bring up uh, a list of things. So let's go here, uh, choose a video, and go over here. This is short, and we can click over here and say, oh, save, and then we choose our playlist. In this case, I have two already. I have one called Music that I created and one with the original uh, Watch Later. So if I just say that, because I want to come back tomorrow maybe and watch it. Now, once you've recorded it, uh, you can do different things with your playlist. Uh, we're going to go look at the Watch Later playlist. And right now, this one here is sorted by the newest goal on the bottom of the list. And you can uh, go down here and you'll see uh, the video that I just clicked on. Uh, if you want, you can change that. You simply scroll up to the top up here, uh, and you'll see where it has sort. Click on that, and you can say uh, the newest first. So the latest ones you watch will be up on top. It's good if you want to see something that you just uh, saw the other day, and you remembered you want to look at it. It'll be right there at the top instead of all the way down here at the bottom. But let's say you won't, don't want that. You come up here uh, and you want this one somewhere else. You don't like it uh, being where it's at. And then watch later. You notice here I've already created one called Music. Uh, but you can create a new playlist. You simply go to any one of your videos you want. Uh, here, this is an exercise one. We click over here and you notice that here it says Add to and then it gives your selections. And it's Create New. You simply type in a name for your playlist here. And then you just uh, create that playlist. And then that way, uh, once you create it, you'll see it over here in your uh, list. If you come over here, uh, there's the exercise one there. Now, let's say you have a bunch of videos you want to organize or the latest one. Uh, and you can add them or remove them from playlist by simply clicking on those three dots to come over here. And you can remove it directly from the watch later. Or you can go in here and just select uh, one or the other uh, simply by clicking on the checkbox. You don't have to save anything. Just click on the X. And now you'll see, if we look at it, uh, it's only in that one playlist. So, of course, you can do the same thing on mobile. You just come over here. And you click on any video. It doesn't matter where it's at in the playlist or in the history or new ones or anything. Uh, here's shorts. I just click on uh, some of the shorts that uh, came up. And you just go up to the top right-hand corner of the short three dots. Look at that. Save the playlist. And you just choose which one you want. Uh, exercise, blah, 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 whichever. And then you cl click on done at the bottom when you've done that. Again, you, you can also create a new playlist here as well. And for demonstration purposes, I'll just call this one Stuff. And there it is. Uh, it's created and ready to go. Just a little item of note that I on the browser, and I'm refreshing it, or you open up a new browser. You'll see here under your playlist, if I click on Show More, there's a new one called Stuff. It's synced, of course, between uh, either your desktop or your mobile. Now, this becomes very handy if you're on a road and you want to save for later just to watch it when you get home on a bigger screen, or if you want to sign into one of these uh, uh, categories here. Otherwise, you may have to browse through your watch history in order to find it. And if you've watched a lot of videos, it'll be tougher than just going to this playlist you created. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.